Commander Holly plays with friends. Hey everyone, how's it going? We're back. We're back to the land of mist and weird faces and birds on things. Birds on things. I don't know, man. Um, I have to go back to Channelwood now to get the red page. But I'm unclear on if I have to, like, st- I might have to start that fire again. It's oh, easier yeah. easier now because it's the day. Yeah, I do. That's okay. stupid. So the next one we're going to is now we're going to the mechanical well, age. Well, first we have to go back to Channel Wood to get the red page. Okay. Oh, oh it's that's still right. burning. Okay. That's right. We have to go get dummy, dumb, dumb faces on their page so they can be all creepy to us. We have to listen to where the, cre- the tree starts, like, crashing. There. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like... It's like... Oh, no, oh, I missed no. it. Okay. Tree! It's too fast of a tree. It's like a sentence you don't usually hear. Too fast that of a tree. That tree is too fast. He's so fast. What if he had little tiny legs? Like... <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense if like a really tall tree just had like teeny, teeny tiny little legs. legs yeah. I or there like an ant. I like things with tiny legs. Yeah. If you guys haven't heard Holly's small burb song, you're oh. missing out. That's all about tiny feet. It is. I need to write another tiny feet song just because it makes me happy. What else could you sing about that has tiny feet? I don't know. I mean, mostly just birds. Yeah. Okay, now we're in the weird, like, like tribal we music jungle. Yeah, look at these tree trunks. Yeah, it's really what is strange. That? I guess that's if the elevator goes away and you want to oh. get back up. I don't know. Ugh, I hate that noise. <laughs> Wait till we play Riven. Um, mm. Why did it just set me out in the weirdest it's place? It's like nighttime now. Oh yeah, it's getting spoopier. Yeah, now it looks like how you described it before. Sort of. It's still not quite as... It's because of the sounds. Like, there's frogs. It's and... like friendly animal noises. But still, like, imagine being here all by yourself. Just like... I don't know. It'd be... It's fine. Yeah. I mean, you'll be all right. I think I just have to switch this one switch. Yeah. Wow, look at the moon. Yeah, at least there's like a little bit of land over there, so you know, like, wow, I can't see now. Yeah, it's super dark. I can't see anything. Okay. I, did it. I think that's all I have to do. Yeah, because they said if you listen, you can hear the water running through the pipes. Mm hmm. Yeah, in a. Uh, so I remember, like, when I was a kid, we had like the the like CD-ROM yes. for this, and um, like when you put it in your computer, it like popped up this whole folder, and some of like one of the options was like watch this like video on the making of Mist, and it was like they were like we just hope the people that play this game like wear like like use like nice speakers or have like nice um, headphones mm. because we put so much time into the sound. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, they did. The sound is definitely what makes this game so creepy. Yeah. Going up. Wee. I um I was I think I was telling I was telling someone recently, maybe it was you, Holly, that I like I have a lot of dreams about elevators. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you weren't telling me that. Oh well yeah, I do. And like ever since I was like pretty young. Ooh. Oh, I went through um, ever since I was pretty young, I, like, have had dreams about, um, like, really, like, broken elevators. Or, Weird. like, rickety and, like, um, like, getting stuck in them or, like... Maybe re- it's from playing this game. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> but, like, they were all like that. Like, I would dream about, like, I'm in this, like, terrifying, like, wooden elevator and, like, like, we'd get stuck and... Or, like, I'd, like, Weird. realize there were no walls. Things like that. And, um... Apparently what that means is that it's like, I have no control of my future. Oh, great. I mean, no one does, technically. Yeah, or that you're, like, thinking about that. that Interesting. Like, there we go. Now the red page. He's broke his chairs. He, yeah, he looks like he had a little bit of a... Fit. He had a tantrum You know what there. I think that actually is? I think that these are, like, signs of, like... Him and his, his brother fighting? Like, his father, like, like, trying to, like, push him into the, like, jail book. Oh, like, maybe. Out of here. Or him and his brother fighting me. Yeah. Oh no. What the heck? I don't know why I keep like talking like that. <laughs> I don't usually do that. There it is. Okay. 
Yeah, I used to have really weird dreams as a kid, just like about, I mean, they're all random, but they'd just be like, I remember a really scary one about a like teeny tiny tornado with a teeny tiny little like, like one of those little propeller hats on. Oh my God. But I remember being <laughs> really cute? scared. No, it was no. chasing me. The um, teeny tiny tornado with the teeny tiny propeller hat was chasing me, and I remember waking up like terrified. <laughs> I um, you know what's weird about my elevator dreams is that my dad has them too. Really? Yeah. That is weird. That's super it's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> I also sometimes they're like roller coaster dreams. Oh. Um, and like, like I'll have a dream that I'm on this like this like really broken roller coaster, and like, it will go like, like above the clouds. Weird. In the sky, and then like we'll, we'll get stuck at the very top, and we're like over the clouds, oh, and no. like the, the cart is like dangling. Wow, it's dark. It is so dark. <laughs> the the cart is like dangling off. That's and I'm crazy. Just, like, There's gonna be a helicopter that will come and rescue us. That's really scary. Yeah. I was scared of teeny tiny tornado with the little propeller hat. <laughs> I also had like teeny tiny scary <laughs> things like that. But I also had a really scary one when I was a kid about um. A, like syringe that was like sentient and was like chasing Whoa. me. Whoa! Yeah. Sentient what, syringe. What do you think that was about? I don't know. Like, I mean, I had a lot of sick people like around yeah. me through my whole life. So like, I hate hospitals and doctors and everything like that. So anything involving like going to the doctors, mm -hmm. like, always freaked me out. Was this like at the point when your was your mother already? Yeah. Sick? She, I mean, she got sick when I was three. So okay. like, I don't really so, remember like, a time when she wasn't. So like. Sense. I would have to go to the doctor or the hospital all the time. And then I was sick for a while when I had that weird, like, bleeding disease. So, like, yeah. when I was a kid, I had this um, thing called ITP, which is a thing where your platelets are eaten by your white blood cells. It's kind of an autoimmune disease. Like, my mom has MS, so it probably was somehow related to that. It sounds like you were really lucky that, like... Oh, I was very lucky to get better. Very, very lucky. I had to have a medicine called... I remember the name of it. It was called Gamma Gobulins. Gamma globulins? Yeah, globulins or something. Globulins or something. And it was actually the platelets from someone, from other people's blood. So it was like, sort of like a blood transfusion? Yeah, yeah, but it was a platelet transfusion and it like reset my immune system. And so wow. my body stopped attacking itself and I got better. If I didn't get better, I would have had to either have transfusions every month and have my spleen removed. <laughs> or any Jeez. of that. But I got better. <laughs> Something mild. I got mild better, procedure. which is great. But it was weird because I was like, I was literally crying and like peeing and like, like sweating blood. Like blood comes out of you like, were crying all the blood? like all the water in your body like turns to blood. Your spit, like your tears, your urine, oh everything turns to blood. It's like stigmata. It's insane. That's you know I so my my dad is. I mean stigmata is like through your hands, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad. Um, before we listen to this spoopy book, uh, my dad is a doctor. My dad actually was a teacher and then went to med school when he was 47. I forgot about yeah. that. That's <laughs> so funny. Now he's a doctor, but I like told him about that. About Never give up you. on your dreams. Yeah, never, for real. Yeah. Uh, I think it's super cool he did that. Yeah. Um, and I dropped, I, I stopped going to college after a few semesters because I was really unhappy and my dad was like, you know, just, just go to, co go to college whenever you want. Like. I'll go to college when I'm like in my 60s if I want to. <laughs> um, but anyway, I told my dad about that and, and he was like, wow, it's like really unusual that you recovered from that. Oh, really? So, yeah. Did he even know what it was? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just not very common. So here's. Oh, you have returned. Ugh, get away. Additional page. No. What were you. My prison on. This forgotten fight of mist. Why do these guys all talk like a DM? Like, <laughs> they like, do. Welcome they're like, to my Dungeons like and Dragons game. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of that too, but like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> okay, time to rotate the tower now again. Now roll your 20. <laughs> oh, you got a one. You're Holly's dead. Holly's about to sort of, oh, okay, we need to go to the gear one. Holly's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna play my first D&D &D game. It's so, true. It's gonna be fun. So the reason we have to go to we have to go to this one before the rocket because there's we won't be able to solve one of the puzzles in the rocket, which is called, oops, it's called the selen selenitic age. Yes, yeah. Which I think the the rocket ship one is, which I think it must have something to do with sound because mm. that world is all about sound. Huh. Um, it's pretty cool. So we're going back 
to check our yeah, we're destination going, clue or whatever. Yeah, we're going to get the key to get it to get in here. Um, I also I like encourage you all to um, if you're playing this to like watch the whole video of the whole cutscene of like the the prison books. Um, they're just like they're really long. Oh really? Yeah. Of them talking? Yeah. Oh weird. So this is doing that. Oh there. Okay, so like this is pointing at the gear. Cool. So we know that um, that's where we're supposed that to that's go. That's yeah. where we're. That's where the key that's on the other side of this. So now. And by key I mean like code. Where? Oh, okay. So. Oh we already. No we didn't. There we go. Okay. Two forty. Two, 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 one. one. So, this connects us to the, um, I don't know if you remember, there was, like, the big clock tower yeah. out there. So, we're gonna go there. And this all, um, it's, like, pretty hard to find out. Like, if you don't know, which I I didn't, you know, I, when I played this, it was before people had, like, walkthroughs. Like, right, right, there right. There was, like... So you really had to just like walk around. And yeah, it's it like when I played King's Quest when I was really young, there were no walkthroughs, but I did have a like Sierra made walkthrough. Oh, that you was... know, I think that you could like buy one. Yeah, you can this. you can buy one. Yeah, you can like buy them back then at like GameStop or wherever EB Games. Except I lived in like I lived in like the tiniest little like <laughs> end of the world. So you couldn't. I'm surprised you figured it all out on your own. That's hard, man. It took me a long time. Like I had um. For King's Quest, I had this. It was awesome. It was like a decoder book, mm -hmm. so everything was like like had red over it, and then you it came with a little like film red thing that you could put over the the phrases and then reveal them. It was amazing. Oh, cool! Wow. Yeah, it was That's really really cool. cool. That took me a minute. It was for process. King's Quest Five. So um, I'm re I'm setting this time to two forty. Oh, okay. Because that's oh. what it said. Oh. Oh yeah. Wow. That's wow. That's two forty. Right. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, thirty, thirty. Yeah. Whoa! That's crazy. Would this guy so have to like do this turn. stuff every time you wanted to go to these places? I, you know, I guess he would. <laughs> That's pretty inconvenient. Um, all right. Well, so let's let's, let's wait at this door and then we'll go into it in the next okay, episode. Okay. What's of, behind the door? Of spooky mist. Spooky mist. It's almost gonna be Halloween soon. So. Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah. Spooky. Let's all right. Say we did this on purpose for Halloween. Yes. Maybe. Well, have a lovely day, you guys, and we will see you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank thanks for, for welcoming me onto this. Uh, of course, of course, Katie. We are a welcome group of tweet hearts. Hooray! Oh, yay. All right, bye-bye, right, guys! Bye, guys! Bye-bye! 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 Dude! Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my show. Thanks for watching. Click on the bird. 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 Birds are cute. Toot toot toot.